Hello everyone, it's time for the textual part of a literature reader, New Broadway. This video covers the textual part of the chapter, Triumph of Surgery. First part, understand. Question number one from this part, I was really worried about Tricky. Why was Mr. Harriet worried? The answer is Mr. Harriet was worried when he saw Tricky because he had become hugely fat, which made him seem like a blotted sausage with legs. His eyes were bloodshot and roomy. The tongue hung out loosely from his jaws. Mr. Harriet was a familiar person uh, uh, for uh, Mrs. Pumphrey and uh, her dog. So when after some time uh, Mr. Harriet saw Tricky, he uh, found some difference in Tricky's appearance. He became uh, hugely fat and he was just looking like a sausage. Sausage are the eatable things, the mixture of uh, vegetables and uh, meat and it is in the form of the cylindrical roll. Okay, so he was just looking like that sausage with the lags, his eyes were red and watery discharge were there and uh, the tongue was uh, hanging out from his jaws. Totally means uh, the condition of the tricky was not well and he was looking unhealthy. Question number two, Tricky had grown fat because of two reasons. What were they? The answer is Tricky had grown fat because he was greedy and couldn't refuse food at any hour of the day. Also, he didn't get any exercise. So, uh, it's very simple thing. If you are eating uh, more than your requirement, obviously, the uh, extra fat will collect it on your body and you will uh, look like a fatty person. And if you are not... Um, burning those calories means if you are not doing any exercise then this fat will cause uh, your health and you will look unhealthy the same was with tricky tricky was greedy and was ready to eat anything at any time and that's why now the condition of tricky was like that that he became unhealthy question number three from the part understand there is a line from the text has been given and some questions have been asked from this line. The line is the expected call came within a few days. Question number one from this line, who was expecting a call and from whom? The answer is Mr. Harriet was expecting a call from Mrs. Pumphrey. Next question, why was he expecting a call? The answer is after seeing how fat Tricky had become, he expected the dog to turn ill soon and so expected a call from Mrs. Pumphrey. Next question, what was the call about? The answer is Mrs. Pumphrey informed the doctor that Tricky was not eating anything. He even refused his favorite dishes and bouts of vomiting. Last question from this line, what happened after the call? The answer is Mr. Harriet wanted to take Tricky out of that house for some time. So he suggested to Mrs. Pumphrey that Tricky had to be hospitalized for fortnight to be kept under observation. Question number four, I think I know a cure for you. What was the cure? Did it work? Mr. Harriet made a bed for Tricky next to the other's dog sleeping place. He gave him no food but plenty of water for the first two days. Then Tricky started to show interest in his surroundings and on third day he began to whimper and then his progress was rapid. So there was no uh, definite medical treatment was going on uh, by the side of Mr. Harriet. He was doing nothing but lessen the amount of the food that had uh, uh, been given to Tricky earlier. He uh, just gave uh, water for starting two days. In fact, nothing to eat, only the water. And that's why on third day, Tricky started showing a little progress. And after that, his progress was rapid. Question number five, the household dog considered Tricky an uninteresting object at first because... The answer is uh, uh, the household dogs consider Tricky an uninteresting object at first because he looked down on the noisy pack with dull eyes and when put down lay motionless in the carpet. Pack is called the group of dogs. So all um, the dogs, all, all the dogs of the vet clinic wanted to look uh, and uh, means uh, try to temper the new member. The tricky was there, but tricky was not uh, well, and that's why he was not showing any interest, uh, and he was just lying a motionless, a lifeless thing on the carpet, and that's why all other dogs showed no interest in tricky. 
Question number six. How did he become the part of the dog gang and start enjoying their company? The answer is Ricky was inspected by the dog gang and they let him join in their fights and other games. He ran about with the dogs, discovered the choice of being bowled over, trampled on and squashed every few minutes. He enjoyed the meal time and hunting reds in the old hand house at night. So uh, when Ricky uh, progressed and uh, when Ricky were, became healthy, he started taking interest in all the activities that uh, used to be uh, done by all other dogs of the vet clinic. He started playing with them, enjoying with them and hunting with them during the night. Question number seven, it was a temptation to keep Ricky on as a permanent guest because Three options has been given of this question. We have to find out the right answer. First option is he had become part of dog gang and was enjoying himself. Next option, the member of the house were enjoying his company. And the last option, the members of the house uh, hold were getting free acts and wine. And this is the right answer. Option number C, because everybody was enjoying the extra eggs and wines during the mealtime. And that's why they want uh, to keep Tricky as a permanent guest in the vet clinic. Question number eight from the part info. Tears shone in her eyes. Oh, Mr. Harriet, she cried. How can I even thank you? This is a triumph of surgery. These two lines has been taken from the text. Again, some questions have been framed from these lines. We have to answer those questions. Question number one from this line. Why were there tears in Mrs. Pomfrey's eyes? The answer is Mr. Harriet was successful in curing Tricky. This is why there were tears in Mrs. Pomfrey's eyes. Next question, what does this tell you about her? The answer is this tells that Mrs. Pomfrey loved the dog very much and she was grateful to Mr. Harriet for having cured him. Last question from these lines, what does the phrase a triumph of surgery refer to? The answer is Tricky was cured without medicine and with exercises. Mrs. Pomfrey remarked that it was a triumph of surgery for Tricky to have been completely cured by Mr. Harriet. So triumph of surgery's literal meaning of this chapter is that uh, the cure, the treatment of Tricky uh, was done without any medical supervision. And that's why this remark has been by the side of Mrs. Pomfrey for Mr. Harriet. Question number nine, which of the following words can be used to describe Mrs. Pomfrey? Some words have been given. We have to choose uh, those words that can be used to describe the character of Mrs. Pomfrey. First, she was caring towards Tricky. She was indulgent. Indulgent means uh, she was very lenient and generous for the uh, demand of Tricky. And that's why she was always ready to give something to eat whenever Tricky wants to eat. Anxious means worried. She was worried about Tricky when Mr. Harriet uh, told her that Tricky need to, needed to be hospitalized. She was really rich. And she was silly. Silly means she was in uh, too much love with Tricky. And that's why we can say that uh, she uh, became little silly without uh, thinking the result of uh, overeating. She kept on giving so many things uh, just because of love towards the Tricky. She was ignorant about the health of Tricky or about the prescription that has been given uh, by Mr. Harriet to her uh, for Tricky. She was devoted. Uh, this sense can again come for Tricky. She was totally devoted uh, for Tricky and that's why besides uh, being uh, loving Tricky so much, she was ready to live alone for 15 days just because of the health of Tricky. So that's why she, we can say that she was a devoted to Tricky caretaker. Question number 10, is this story funny? Give example to support your answer. Yes, this story is funny. When Mr. Harriet asked Mrs. Pomfrey for Tricky to be hospitalized, Mrs. Pomfrey almost fainted. She was sure he would die if he did not see her every day. This excessive anxiety makes us laugh. Means we cannot think about like uh, we do um, have pets at our home, but uh, if the uh, 
uh, our pet is not feeling well or uh, it needed to be hospitalized any time then um, if we are showing uh, the over concern then it will definitely be a cause for the other person to laugh and that same thing was there in this chapter question number 11 from the part reflect Mrs. Pomfrey seems to truly love Tricky. This is evident from the story. Yet she is unable to see that she is actually ruining the dog's health and even putting his life in danger. It is possible that sometimes when we love a person through our actions, realizing that we are doing so, discuss this. The answer is Mrs. Pomfrey deeply loved Tricky, but she was ignorant of what was good and bad for him. She overfed him and did not make him to do enough exercise. So what we learn from example is that it is not enough to love someone. It is equally important to be careful and responsible for him. For better understanding, we can take the example of our parents. Our parents loves us so much, but at the same side, if something is not good for us, then they uh, became the same or they show the same astonishment to be careful and responsible towards us. Question number one from the part extension. Look at this sentence. On the third day, Tricky began to whimper when he heard the dogs in the yard. Here, whimper refers to the low, weak sound that Tricky makes. There are seven words in this word search mm -hmm. that refer to sounds that animals make find them. So, one puzzle has been given here we have to find out seven sounding words of the animal and the words are growl growl is the sound made by bear lion or dog snare is another sound made by dog whine is uh, the sound that uh, low sound we can say made by dog and other animals squeal is a very high pitched sound uh, especially made by birds roar is again the special sound of lion the very harsh uh, sound made by lion and tiger. Howl is uh, the sound made by dogs. Then moan is a low crying sound and yelp is a high crying, very sad sound made by animals. Question number two from the part extension. Many parents show their love for the children by pampering them. They probably do not realize that it can sometimes have harmful effects. Should parents pamper their children? Discuss this in groups and present your views to the class. The answer of this question should be based on the experience uh, that you got after the discussion. Here I have given one example answer. Of course, pampering creates harmful effects in children's development. Parents should realize that by pampering, they are rather spoiling their children and they should definitely not to do this. These pampered children proved maladjusted and troubled in future. So it is the responsibility of the parents more that they should inculcate the responsible feeling in their children from very starting and uh, they should uh, present a very healthy environment for them where uh, they be uh, where the children are able to understand the uh, different type of condition and the circumstances and uh, since beginning they should learn to adjust with those condition with this we have completed all the question answer of this chapter with this i am ending my video here i'll see you next time